What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most lucrative niches that I absolutely love. I've said it over and over again, every single time we cover anything that has to do with the baby niche. That's a cute baby. <laughs> Very cute baby. Adorable. So babies are extremely lucrative. People are popping babies out left and right every single day. In the US alone in 2021, over 10,000 babies were born every day. That's a lot of business opportunities right there. Now, I know that sounds kind of messed up capitalizing on babies, but hear me out. So parents, they don't mind spending a pretty penny on their kid's comfort. And for good reason too, everyone wants their kids to be comfortable and to be happy. But today, we're not gonna necessarily be talking about the baby niche overall. We're actually gonna be niching down even further. We're going to be talking about baby clothes. So if you've been wanting to get into the baby niche, but you weren't exactly sure how to get started, then check this video out all the way through. And also make sure to check out our cheat sheet in there. I'm going to lay out everything for you in an easy to reference manner. So that way you can refer back to it whenever you need to, to get started on the right foot. And if you want access to that, just go ahead and drop a comment down below with the hashtag baby dropshipping. And let me know what your takeaways from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, what makes dropshipping baby clothes so lucrative? Well, quite frankly, the biggest benefit is the fact that you have access to a ton of different products, a lot of different variations, and there's barely any startup cost, if any at all. Since we're dropshipping, we don't have to keep any inventory on hand. So everything is done as we get an order. So when somebody places an order on our store, then we're going to go to our supplier and place the order through them. That in itself is eliminating the need for us to have any inventory on hand, which equals out to low startup costs and very minimal investment. We also have a very broad customer range. So on top of targeting parents, we're also going to be targeting caregivers. So it's not always parents that are making these purchases. It can always be somebody else. So uncles are always purchasing these products, aunts, grandparents, cousins, even friends and family for things like baby showers, whenever the baby's actually born, things like that. So people are always purchasing these products, even if they're not parents. So now that we know what audience we're going to be targeting, let's talk a little bit about a few of the different things that we need to keep in mind when searching for these different products for babies. So the baby niche overall is a very sensitive niche because kids, they're sensitive themselves. They're very fragile, especially newborns. So because of that, you really want to be careful on the type of product that you drop ship. Some people make certain claims about certain products and their safety, which can be very iffy. But since we're talking about clothing and baby clothing, we have a bit more wiggle room because clothes aren't inherently dangerous or don't have really many dangers to them. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we can just drop ship anything or any clothes from any suppliers. When it comes to babies, we need to make sure that we have high quality material. So parents, they don't want to spend money on a t-shirt or a baby onesie that's going to be hard and scratchy. They want to spend money on a product that's going to be nice, soft to the touch, and overall comfortable for the baby or the kid to wear. So because of that, it's very important to really test out the quality on our supplier's products. So as I always say, order a sample, but don't just order one sample, maybe order two or three different samples to different people at different addresses under different names. The reason for this is because you want to make sure that when your supplier sends something out to you, it's the same thing that they're sending out to your customers. This is pretty much just one way of making sure that your suppliers aren't necessarily fake and they're only sending you good products instead of to the rest of your customers. Besides that, of course, you want to make sure that they have competitive pricing. So that way you can offer competitive pricing yourself. Shipping times are also really big on this specifically because kids grow very fast. You don't want to purchase a product that's, let's say, a baby onesie for six to eight months old and receive it a month later. The kid might not even fit in it at that time. Kids and babies, they grow really, really fast and they outgrow their clothes insanely quickly. And that in itself is actually one of the reasons why the baby clothing niche is so lucrative because kids are always outgrowing their clothes. Mm, they grow up so fast. Now, just to give you a few different suggestions in terms of suppliers for your baby products, just check these out. For one, you have the AutoDS Marketplace and private suppliers. Now to gain access to this, you are gonna need an account with AutoDS and you are gonna need to be a part of the AutoDS family. 
Now, if you're not a part of it just yet and you've been thinking about joining, right now is the time to get started because you can get started for the trial period for just $1 for the next two weeks. Those two weeks, grind it out, start looking for all of the different products that you want to drop ship in your particular niche, add them to your store since, you know, it's going to be super easy for you because AutoDS is going to automate the entire process for you. A little bit more on that later and start making your profits from the get go. Now, when you're getting started after you're signed up, this is the first thing you're going to see. So you're going to have the marketplace. Here you can find tons of different products in a lot of different niches, but we're looking for baby clothes. So right here, what we're going to do is we're actually just simply going to search up baby clothes. And now you can see a ton of different products that are available to you to start drop shipping immediately. Now, let me show you something that's even better. So up here where it shows supplier, you can switch it over to AutoDS suppliers. So that way you can gain access to our private suppliers. These are suppliers that are working directly with AutoDS and for one can give you some of the best pricing two, some of the best shipping times and three, some of them even give you the option to brand. So once we switch it over to the AutoDS suppliers, I just looked up baby and I switched it over from baby clothes so we can have a bit more options. But as you can see, you already have products that you can start drop shipping in the baby niche. So you have a few very soft blankets over here, some baby towels, some swaddles, which are actually very, very big in the baby niche. And as you can see, just scrolling through, you have a lot more products to choose from. A lot of things that will make great gifts for new parents too. Now, let's say you like one of these and you want to import it into your store and you want to start selling it. Well, doing that is even easier. All you have to do is simply go to import draft and then the item will be added to your draft section where you can make any necessary edits before having it go live on your store. Now, the best thing about doing it this way is the fact that you don't have to copy over the title. You don't have to copy over the description. You don't have to download all of the images and then re upload them, calculate the pricing, your profit, everything. Everything is done for you. Now, once the product import has finished and it's ready in your draft section, this is what you're going to see. So here we have the one that we just imported, which is the little baby lamb. Let's go ahead and click on click to edit. Now, if there's any keywords in your title or in your description that could potentially be patented, then AutoDS is actually going to tell you this as well. So that way you can make sure that you just don't drop ship it. But let me show you the different sections just so you can get an idea of what you're going to be seeing. So as you can see here, product description contains a Vero keyword patent. Now it could potentially be the name of it, the baby Lambie, but in either case, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the rest of the section so you can just get an idea again. So here you can change the title. You can make sure that it's optimized to your liking over here on the description. Same thing. Best thing about this though, is the fact that you can actually do everything with AI. So it really takes the guesswork out of everything and it's pretty much done for you and it'll sound elegant. Then you have your variants. This is where you're going to have any different colors, different sizes, different, whatever it is here. You can actually go ahead and edit and then you have a pricing calculator. This makes pricing a lot easier for you specifically because it already takes into consideration the fees. Now the fees you can go ahead and change. Let's say you have 18% fees. It's pretty high, but just so you know, this is something that you can change. So that way it'll be easier for you to price your products. Now on the profit, that's already subtracting the fees. So this itself is going to be what you're going to be making. Now to add on to all of this, you also have the option to be able to import different products from different suppliers, all completely automated. So let's say we want to import this baby onesie from Amazon. So from here, all we have to do is simply go ahead and take the link. You can either cut it or copy it, go back to our AutoDS account, click on add products. You can either go multiple or single, but this one we're just going to do single paste in the link. And as you can see, our supplier changed over to Amazon and it's shipping from the U S now we can either edit now, which will have it added to our draft section, or we can publish it to our store and it'll be automatically imported to our store where it'll be ready for people to make the purchase. All right. So it's finally time for that moment that everyone came here for. What are the best drop shipping products in terms of baby clothes that you should be drop shipping? So the first one is going to be a print on demand onesie. So check this out. Once you have access to AutoDS, then you also have access to print on demand where you can customize every single aspect of different types of garments. So here we have a bunch of different shirts that you can customize, but we're looking for this one right here, the baby onesie. Let's go ahead and click on click to edit. And then once the page is loaded, you can see that this item itself is actually only $11. So it's not that bad. And the best part is, is that you can customize it to your liking. So you can add as many different images as you want. So that way you can have practically an unlimited amount of variations. So let's go ahead and click to edit the product. And then once you're on this page, just go ahead and click on add image. Once your image is selected and uploaded, then this is what it's going to look like. You can go ahead and move it around. You can even increase it a little bit to make sure you fill up the entire space. And that's it. That's how it's going to look like when somebody places an order and has it shipped to them. Now, once you're done here, all you have to simply do is click on save. 
and it'll be added to your draft section where you can make any more edits to the title description and everything before having it go live on your store all right the second product is going to be a baby animal bathrobe these are insanely popular especially for newborns so i actually had this one right here the one with the little elephant on it it's insanely cute and my kid just looked adorable on it and my wife she loved it and used it even after he stopped fitting in it so these are awesome on top of everything they're super comfortable and insanely soft which is what parents are looking for so this is a perfect product to drop ship for new parents now the third product on this list is going to be organic baby overalls so baby overalls just overall look insanely cute but on top of that if you add the fact that they're organic people or parents are just going to go absolutely crazy over it once you add the word organic, of course, it really does have to be organic. The product has to be sustainable. But once that word is added to the product, it just immediately increases the value. So let's take a look through AliExpress and see some of the different options that you have available. So looking through the very first one is a little romper suit, which we're actually going to get to that in a second, but there's a difference. Now, looking through some of the different ones, you can see these right here. These are actually insanely cute, like that one right there. This is something that my wife would have bought my kid when he was born. This one, this one as well. As you can see, the overalls, they actually have that little crisscross in the back and the little shoulder straps that go all the way to the front. That's really what makes it an overall. But going back, you can see that there's quite a few more like this one right here. This one's really, really nice as well. The little pocket in the front is a nice addition, especially with the little bunny ears popping out of it. All right, next we have one that's actually going to be for girls. So this is going to be the puff sleeve dress, specifically for babies and toddlers. So as you can see, these are very popular. I'm pretty sure you've seen them around. I'm pretty sure you've seen kids wearing these. And really what they are are just a dress with some puffy sleeves. These are insanely cute for newborns and for toddlers. And honestly, these are perfect for the summertime as well, or for anywhere that it gets really hot because they're actually pretty cool. Since they are a dress and they have the puffy sleeves, they are pretty airy and they help keep the kids cooler throughout the summer. On top of that, they just look super cute. Now looking through the different options that you have available over at Walmart, we can see that we have some that are pretty reasonably priced. Like look at this one right here and look at this one right here. Let's just take a look at these two. So this one has the little checker pattern, which actually looks really nice. I know a lot of people that will go crazy over something like this. And then this other one also looks really good, which you know what? I might end up purchasing one just like this one for my goddaughter because she loves butterflies. But as you can see, it's actually very similar to the last one. It even has the same texture in the front. So the only difference is really that it just has the little butterflies on it. But these types of dresses are very, very popular amongst parents and amongst caregivers. So these are very good presents to be able to give for, let's say, a first or second birthday or things like that. All right. Now for this next one, we're going over to the colder side of the country and we're going to be looking at baby snowsuits. Now, these I don't know if you've seen the videos on TikTok or on YouTube where you have a little baby and they've got these little snowsuits on that. They're just like this and they can barely move. They're just they're just super adorable. They're hilarious. But we're not looking for those. We're looking for some that are a bit more versatile and a bit more mobile. So looking through these over here that you have access to on Amazon, the one that actually stands out to me is this one right here, because this one not only can it be a snowsuit, but it can also double as a sleeping suit as well, at least when it's really cold. So as you can see, this one right here, it comes with the little hood. Of course, since it's for babies, the little extra cuteness factor has to be added in terms of the little bear ears, so they look like a little bear cub, but you also have a few other variations. Now, these are very popular amongst parents because, again, it helps keep the baby warm, especially in very cold conditions, like let's say when it's snowing. All right, so up next, we have a baby romper. Now, these are pretty similar to the overalls, but as you can see through all of the different pictures here, they have their differences. It's not huge, but they are different than the overalls, specifically the fact that these don't actually have the big straps that come towards the front or the back. Now, these are kind of just like onesies or similar to bodysuits, but look at this one right here. This one's actually very, very good. It's only $3.19. It has free shipping and something like this can easily be sold for a markup of maybe $15, $16, which given the sourcing price is actually a pretty good profit. Now, as you can see, these are geared towards more girls because these do have more of a girly look to them. But regardless, they're very cute. They look very good. And these are the types of things that parents just buy all of the time. And again, kids outgrow these all the time as well. So this is something that's sustainable and something that's essentially evergreen. This whole niche really is evergreen. 
All right, going forward, we have waterproof baby bibs. Now, the difference between having a waterproof baby bib and having a regular baby bib is going to be the fact that the regular baby bib is going to be absorbing everything, while the waterproof one is just going to let it slide off. Now, this is going to be personal preference depending on the parents. Some are going to like the waterproof. Some are going to prefer the ones that aren't. But it's always a good idea to offer both and always specify that one is waterproof while the other one isn't. So on Amazon, you can see that there's quite the different amount of variations. When it comes to the waterproof ones, a lot of the times the difference is going to be that some of them are either going to be made out of complete silicone while others are gonna have a somewhat of a plastic or waterproof backing to the cotton in the front. So let's just take a look at this one really fast. Now here, what would make it waterproof is the fact that the front is actually soft like cotton, but then the back of it is a bit more plasticky. So it's not gonna absorb all of the liquid. It's actually gonna start coming off. Again, this is something that some parents are going to prefer. Some parents are going to prefer the ones that aren't waterproof. So just offer both and have different variations and just make sure to differentiate them. But besides those, you also have some like these right here, which are actually really cool. Like this one right here, which is completely waterproof. Typically, these are made out of silicone and they just catch food or anything that drips down them. And same goes for something like this one, except this is a bit more kind of like a shirt. But instead of putting it on them, it just simply goes onto their sleeves and just acts as a regular bib. These are really cool. These are really good because not only does it protect the front of them, it also protects their entire clothing in the front as well. Now, this next product is one that is always, always being replaced and you can take that from personal experience and that's baby socks. For some reason, our baby socks just always disappear. I can never find a matching one. So because of that, we're always purchasing more. And on top of that, the kids always grow them out too because their little feet just get huge. So baby socks are very lucrative and they can be sold at a pretty decent price, but not just that, they can be sold in packs. So if you go to the store, you're not going to be finding just one pair of baby socks. You're going to find them in pairs of five, pairs of 10, sometimes even pairs of 15 or 20. Now looking at the age gate, we can see these right here. So these are baby socks that are actually just $1 for one pair. So each pair is going to cost you a dollar. A lot of the times you're going to find a five pack running for maybe 20, $25. So this is a very, very lucrative product with a very high profit margin. Now, not only do you have access to little things like this, but there's also different variations in terms of the socks. So when it comes to kids, there's going to be the basic socks, but then there's also going to be the training socks. Now, the difference is going to be the fact that training socks on the bottom have little grips or as me and my wife call them, the little grippies. The reason for these is so that way kids don't slip. When babies are learning how to walk, they're all over the place. They're falling, they're slipping, and it can get kind of dangerous for them. So in order to help them out with this, parents either leave them barefoot or they give them socks that have the little grips on the bottom so they don't slip everywhere. I highly suggest that you offer both, offer the ones without them and offer the ones with them because the ones without them are typically going to be used when a kid wears shoes, whereas the ones that do have the grips are going to be used usually without shoes and just around the house. All right, next up at number nine, we have two piece outfits. When it comes to matching baby clothes, it can be kind of hard sometimes to find the exact same matching thing. So a lot of the times you're going to find a t-shirt, but then you're going to find a completely different pair of shorts. So being able to offer a full set for parents is something that's extremely helpful and just makes things a lot easier for them. So looking through Walmart, you can find a lot of different two piece suits. Some of them are going to be just a basic t-shirt or a sweater for kids and their pants or their shorts, but then others are going to serve a dual purpose. So look at this one right here. So first off, you have the onesie by itself, which can be used just on its own. That's perfectly fine, but it can also be added on to the pants as well. So this is the good thing about these products. It's essentially a two in one. You can get two different outfits for the price of one. You can have either the entire two piece set dressing up the kid from head to toe, or if it's a little too hot outside for the pants, you can just leave the pants off and just leave them in the onesie. This could be the perfect way to be able to advertise these types of products. Let's say you can make a TikTok video showing off the outfit. You can say my kid when it's cold outside and take them with the two piece and then transition to sometime in the afternoon and then say, oh, it's way too hot now. Take off the pants and just leave them in the onesie. Trust me, moms on TikTok go crazy for those types of videos. And there's going to be tons of different comments that simply just say, where'd you get that outfit? It's super cute. This and that. And then you could just simply link them to the link in your bio or your website. All right, last but not least, we have a baby essential. And this is something that every single baby gets when they leave the hospital or throughout their entire life as just a little baby. And that is going to be a ribbed baby beanie. I'm pretty sure you see babies all the time with beanies, especially when they're first born. The reason for this is because 
for some reason, parents just like to keep their kids' heads warm. I never really used beanies too much, but trust me when I say that the older generation, like my parents and grandparents, they need to have these beanies. But besides that, they also have a lot of really cool ones and a lot of really unique ones that parents would go absolutely crazy for. Looking through Etsy, you can see some that are just flat out awesome. Like look at these right here, personalized name beanies. These are very, very nice. They look really good. They look super high quality. And best of all, they're customized with a name. This is something that you can offer in your store as well, even though you're not the one doing the customization. So you can take orders for this and then go over to the shop on Etsy or anybody else's shop that does something similar and then place the order through them, give them the name that your customer gave you and then have them ship it to your customer. Now, the cool thing about working with somebody on Etsy is the fact that when you're working with someone on Etsy, you're working with somebody directly. You're working with a small business owner that can get things done for you that other suppliers won't be able to. So since you have the option to customize this, they'll go ahead and make the customization for you. And then you can even ask them to do a little something extra. So maybe you can ask them to add a little note or you can ask them to simply just keep out any invoice or any mention of your store. So that way the shipping on this is completely blind. So those were the top products for you to drop ship in the baby clothing niche and a few extra tips and tricks that could help you out in the entire process. What did you think of this video? Let me know down in the comments below. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is drop a comment with the hashtag baby drop shipping. And let me know what your takeaway was from this video. Huge thank you to everyone for watching this especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, please make sure you smash that like button because if you're still here, that means you did like the video and you're still watching. So smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS, wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses. And I'll catch you all next time.